Hello there everybody, welcome back to another Weird Assassin video. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. In this video, it has taken a long time coming. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build the Upside Down. Now this is only a little segment. Um, this is actually supposed to represent the scene where Billy is basically escaping from the steelworks where he's just seen, you know, the mind flares kind of taking him there and stuff like that. Um, and he's like driving his car super fast down the road. He has to stop at a little telephone booth, which is this one just here. And tries to call 911 to get some help. But of course, trying to explain that to 911, I've just been dragged down some stairs in a basement of an abandoned building by this huge monster thing. You know, they're not going to believe you. So, I wanted to represent that today um, by building you guys the upside down in this little scene. Of course, you can use the ideas from this build to like extend the upside down to make the entire map or something the same. Um, that would look really awesome. And with the new nether update, this build definitely definitely came about because of these blocks like look at this beautiful beautiful stone and stuff it looks awesome so yeah we're going to be building this one today definitely stay tuned if you can and uh yeah let's get let's get doing it all right then guys so starting off our build with only soul sand some cracked nether bricks some black concrete powder some polished blackstone buttons and a block of coal we're going to build in this space over here now it is quite a small build to be honest it's only 15 by 15 wide like a big square so i'm actually going to do take my soul sound first we're going to mark out a little area so i'm going to put this in the floor one two three oops maybe just get off it because it's moving slow <laughs> four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen you may just want to double check this i'm hoping that that is right i'm going to go around the corner now i'm going to start on this one we just ended on and I'm going to start counting from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we just connect this up to make a big old square. And here we go. This is kind of the easiest part of the build. It uh, is always good to have a little bit of a marker and because I did build this in a scene if you were having this on your Hawkins world for example and you didn't want to make the entire world the upside down you could just incorporate this scene into like um, an area of your your uh, Hawkins and it would look pretty cool it would fit in with the surroundings so there we go a massive square just like so now what we're actually going to do is we're going to build the road next because the road is the second easiest part of the build so we're going to start from this block this first grass block inside the square we're going to go one two three four five and on sixth is where we're going to build now first things first i'm going to place some cracked nether bricks just there and then two along from that i'm going to place two black concrete powder like so then i'm going to take um counting again i'm going to go one two three four five and you want to make sure it's five again so that we can have this nice and even like so now for the road at the moment you can't see obviously all the way because the car is uh, kind of blocking some of the road. But it goes two more nether bricks behind there. Two block of coal straight up like that. One, two, three black concrete powder in there. Our one button goes there. Our one button goes there. Then we're going to do another block of coal just there. Black concrete powder once again in there. Block of coal. Two nether bricks. I'm also going to do one just there. I'm going to do two concrete powder. This is where the car is now, so we're obviously not going to see this part. I'm maybe going to do a block of coal, two rows just there, maybe some nether bricks, and then I'm going to do concrete powder, coal again, concrete powder just in there, my nether bricks, and as we get to the other side, so you can actually see the car again, I'm going to alternate again between the different materials just to make this all fit in, like so. And then what you want to do is you just want to place your um, buttons on the concrete powders. If you can get them on the concrete powders instead of the, the coal and things, it definitely helps. It, look, it makes it look a little bit better as well, um, which is pretty cool. So, of course, you don't need to worry too much about this middle section at the moment for the buttons. Because, like I said, the car is going to go in here. So, don't worry too much about those. Alright then, guys. Let's go on to the next step. So, starting with the materials around the road, you're going to need some soul sand, some black stone some netherrack and some balsalt. Balsalt. Apologize if I'm saying that wrong. <laughs> We're going to go for 
three soul sand just beside the road now here. Then I'm going to go blackstone just around this corner. Then I'm going to go for some netherrack just here. Some basalt, 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 <laughs> blackstone, uh, some netherrack, some basalt, netherrack, blackstone again. Then I'm going to go for uh, probably one, two, three netherrack, and then basalt just here. Now this can be any which way you'd like, you don't have to copy me for this. Um, certain elements of the build don't actually have to be the same. Like as you can see, I built a lot of structures on this as well, like the lamp posts, the sort of telegraph posts even. Um, so obviously you can imagine the radio uh, cables would connect between these. I didn't. I did add cables originally when I was building this with cobwebs, but I thought it looked a little bit odd, so I took them out. But the uh, the posts in there, they're gonna have to be in the same position as well as the trees and the telephone box. But apart from the actual, you know, foliage and the blocks, they do not have to be the same as mine. They can just be any which way random, um, yeah, random parts of the build. So I'm just going to kind of spam loads of materials in here now. I'm just going to mix and mash. Make sure that two blocks are neither the same or they're not clustered together too much. So you can have, like, two blocks together, um, but just make sure that you're switching between all of the different materials as many as times as you can really. Maybe just change it on up. It's always good to have a different range of uh, blocks and with using these four blocks we're not like you know overkilling the, the materials we're using just enough that hopefully we can have a different variety of things to make it look like the upside down should. Thank you once again for voting on this build guys um, in the original Hawkins Lab video. I really do appreciate it. It really does mean a lot. Uh, it's been actually very fun to build this one. There we go. That looks good. So we're just going to do the exact same over here, basically. Just kind of spam your materials. All right, then, guys. So I'm at the back of the road of mine now. So my, you know, my back is facing my other build. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start to place the lamppost first, and then we're going to build the telephone booth, and then we're going to add in the trees and the foliage and all that sort of crazy stuff. So what we need to do first of all is go to the second row along from the road, so this one just here. So leave a block and do the exact same on the opposite side. And we're going to start to count from this block here. We're going to go one, two, and on three is where we're going to place our first fence post. So one, two, three. So the materials you're going to need, dark oak fence, some levers, some buttons, a warped sign, polished blackstone slab, light grey stained glass pane, polished blackstone wall, blackstone slab, and a soul lantern. You're also going to need a tripwire hook as well, but I can't fit that in my inventory at the moment, which is a little bit annoying, <laughs> but that's okay. So what we need to do now is, now we've got those marked out, we can go right to the end in the same row and just plonk some more lampposts down. Now these lamps go up by about, one second, they go one, two, three, four, five, and then on six is where we build the thing, but they go up about seven blocks. So we've already got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. One last one. 2, 3, 4. Oops. How many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4. My bad, guys. Uh, 5, 6, 7. If you do need to pause the video because I do go too quick or anything, please feel free to do so as well. It's absolutely a problem at all. So now I have these lampposts in. We can go ahead and on the second row down, just add two fence posts hanging over the side of these. Almost like medieval sort of lanterns. So here we go. Facing towards each other, not out to the road though. Now once you've done that, you can take your levers and place these facing towards the back of the build so they're going to go out towards the back now if you place them on the right side if you're doing it from this way they will just automatically face that way as well which is good and then we'll do the same over here and then the last step for the lamp posts is buttons on top of the fence posts i'm so happy i just experimented with this just to see if it would work because i saw a picture of what one of these lamp posts really looks like or these um telegraph post even and um, I thought you know that would actually look really cool if we put a button on there 
in Minecraft, and it did work. It did actually work. Like it did let me. So I was super happy about that. I'm super happy it actually worked. Now that we've actually done our telegraph poles, we can go ahead and build the telephone booth. Now we can quickly swap out some of our materials. So get rid of the fence, get rid of the levers, and you can get rid of the button. And maybe just replace one of those materials with a tripwire hook, so you can grab that now. We're going to go four blocks away from this one that is on the end block. We're going to go one, two, three, four, and on the fifth one, we're going to place some polished blackstone wall for three blocks high. We're going to leave one block away, and we're going to go back and place another three. One block away to the side, and place another three. One block away to the front, and place another three. Then we're going to take some glass, some light grey stained, stained glass pane, and we're going to go up the left side for all three of the blackstone wall. We're going to go three up the back, one on the right side, and then leave a gap, and then one at the top right side. We're going to place a blackstone slab sort of block in there. You could just use a block. Not exactly certain why I have a slab in there, but never mind. And then the last step is we're going to take some blackstone, uh, some polished blackstone slab, and place these all over the roof for about six blocks, like so. You can then take a soul lantern, place that on the inside, and that looks very upside downy. It's got a very spooky look about it. And then your tripwire hook to represent the phone inside, and then some warp sign around the exterior of these slabs. So on this block here, on this block here, on this block here, and on this block here. Right on the second row down, telephone, like so. You can do this for all four of the blocks. The warp sign looks so cool. Like All these materials have really helped us out in this build. 100% they look really cool. And there we go. That is kind of a spooky telephone box just there. Amazing. Let's get on to Billy's car and the last little bits of trees and vines and all the little shrubs that are popping up out of the upside down. Let's go do that now. Now once again when making your desired foliage and things you can make it as random as possible. Over on this first lamppost just here, so to the right of the telephone booth on the opposite side of the road, we can go ahead and go a block away and place just a log just there. You're going to need some dark oak logs. I grabbed some dead um, tube coral. I also grabbed myself some of this dead horn coral. Um, because they're dead, obviously they're grey and they look actually really cool for the upside down. Also grab some spruce leaves, some vines and some dark oak wood if you didn't want to use the logs as well. So the actual logs, we can go inside the floor just here, just kind of diagonal from this one, place another one just there. Then I'm going to take my vines, place them all the way around this log sticking up above the ground. Then a piece of coral just on this blackstone block. Two leaves diagonal from each other. And then over here, double stack some leaves and then place these really randomly, kind of like that. Again, it's super random, so if you don't want to copy me, Feel free to do your own design guys, honestly, it would look pretty cool either way, either which way you do it. Now over here, we're going to add only about three trees in this one. Like, technically this is a tree, but it's kind of, you know, dead or it's fallen over or something like that. So, it's not really a tree, it's kind of just a, a log sitting there. So, I'm actually going to build the biggest tree just across here. I'm going to start by placing a block kind of diagonal away from this post. I'm going to go up for two blocks high. Um, then I'm actually going to go up and kind of carve it like this out towards the road like this one. Then I'm going to bring it up and it's getting close to that telegraph pole now. So I'm going to need to bring it around the corner up to the top, probably just a block below the top. Bring two branches out like so. Maybe drop back down, come to this side, place another two branches kind of facing down like so. Like I said, super random designs. So if you didn't like it, change it up however you like. And then I'm just going to spam some leaves, kind of filling in the little gaps around the tree to make it look like a very sort of spooky looking tree. This could even represent what it kind of looks like the Whomping Willow from Harry Potter. So if you wanted to like make the Whomping Willow, <laughs> I think that would actually look pretty cool as well. So here we go, just kind of placing loads of random trees around. Loads of leaves. And yeah, making it super, super random. There we go. Until all of the logs at the top are covered up. Now over here, you can see I didn't use leaves. I just used vines, but you can use both if you want. Both look pretty cool. 
and in the upside down scene we're trying to represent um there is you know still trees because billy is on a forested road and um, i'm pretty sure the upside down still has trees so that's pretty cool so all the way around making sure that every single patch or at least most patches are filled up with vines like so perfect i might just do a couple more at the top all right then so the other trees i'm going to build one the opposite side for this one and this is kind of the prime way not to use the logs you can just use the dark oak wood because obviously it's filled up on all four sides so you can't actually see a bit of exposed interior of the wood so that would be pretty cool uh, i'm just going to do a smaller tree still one that you can uh, put a bit of detail on but just a smaller one so that it's not kind of as you know packed up with uh, leaves and things and i'm only going to do just uh, some vines on this one so once again all the way around and of course these vines will grow in time and they will just like you know kind of fall off the build and look really really cre creepy and uh, spooky and stuff as you can see it's done over here it looks very cool and then the last sort of tree is just over this side and again super random we're going to take our dark oak wood i'm going to go up the, the back of this telegraph pole now i'm going to go up to two then two going to go back one go up by two out of two and then bring it forward just by one block like so and then vines all the way around this one again Hey presto, cool, that is looking pretty awesome. So it is quite a time consuming prog like process, um, just adding in all the vines and things, that does take quite a lot of time, um, but it does pay off in the end, and it would definitely uh, look pretty cool. So the last sort of step of uh, the actual foliage and things, is take your coral and just place it a random array of like different types just around the place. Don't try and bunch these up if you can help it, because uh, the more spaced out they are, the more it looks really spooky. Um, if you had like these in a massive row together, they would look a little bit overused and they wouldn't look as great. Like maybe that just quite sparse. Um, obviously this side is more packed up than this one, um, but that looks pretty cool anyway. All right then guys, so to build Billy's car for the last step, you're gonna need some white stained glass. You're gonna need an item frame, a monster spawner, light blue carpet, blue carpet, blue concrete, stone buttons, black concrete, and some glass. You're also going to need a cobweb, you're also going to need some uh, block of redstone, and some glass panes, but we'll grab those afterwards, and they're not too important at the moment. So coming a block in line in front of the uh, telephone box, we're going to place one blue concrete, a monster spawner, and then another blue concrete kind of next to that one. We're going to do a black concrete block just there, leaving a block and a black concrete just there. One blue concrete to fill in the gap just there. Light blue carpet in between the two uh, black concrete blocks for the tires. Uh, it covers the monster spawner. Blue carpet on either side of that one stripe. Then stone buttons on those wheels. Then one, two blue concrete on both sides just to fill over that gap. We're also going to do one more block just in there so we can add in our window. And our window just goes with glass all the way around those blue concrete blocks. Two more black concrete blocks go in now and we can actually stick another block of blue concrete in there and then one more row behind that like so. Two more stone buttons on these wheels and one more row of blue concrete above those tires like that. You're also going to need to grab yourself some string afterwards as well which I completely forgot. We'll grab that in a second. So two item frames on the back, two item frames on the front, just besides the monster spawner. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves those new materials now. So oh, before we do, put your white stained glass in the front there for the two headlights. So grabbing ourselves some cobwebs, just the one cobweb we're gonna need. We're also gonna need some string so we can hold up those carpets. Um, of course you're going to need the blue carpet still and one last material which is your block of redstone oh and your panes I'm so sorry guys keep forgetting materials <laughs> your glass panes as well normal glass panes that is so here we go so these are for the wing mirrors they go on the side of the glass just like that 
Um, it might connect up to the telephone booth. That's maybe where you want to make it just a block back. Um, but it's up to you guys. It doesn't look too bad, to be honest. But uh, yeah, it's up to you. You don't even have to have them if you don't want to. I might take them off for this one. So, string just in that gap just there. Blue carpet all the way over for this roof now. Two blocks of redstone in the back section like so. And then in this glass block just here, it's going to remove the carpet, but that's okay. You're just going to place one block of uh, cobweb and then the carpet back over the top. And it looks like a smashed window, which is pretty cool. I want to give a huge shout out to Stranger Builds for that design because uh, we, we actually did a build battle together and we were experimenting with different ideas and building techniques. And he came up with this design when I asked about how to make a smash window. So the dude is a legend. Thank you so much for the idea, dude. I really do appreciate it. Guys, if you want to go check out Stranger Builds channel, link in the description below. He has some incredible Stranger Builds builds. So definitely go check him out. Thank you so much for watching this video on build. I really hope you've had fun building. I know I've had fun teaching you guys. If you did have fun, please definitely drop a like. That'd be awesome. And if you'd like to stick around for more by subscribing, that would be amazing. Thank you so much, guys. You definitely take, sa uh, take safe. Stay safe. I cannot speak again today. <laughs> take it easy. Have an excellent day. And I'll see you at the next release of the video coming very, very soon. Goodbye for now.